situation at Marvel Stadium yesterday where, for one of the few times, the intensity and the pressure to perform, whilst the West Coast Eagles still had a great expectation, don't get me wrong, and there was still, you know, the, the pressure was off to a degree given the extraordinary circumstances that were presented to them, 14 mm. changes, then another one just before the ball was bounced. One of the few times, I reckon, where those players went in and go, oh, well, we've got a bit of a free swing here. And on the other hand, North Melbourne had everything to lose. So for them to get the result is just fantastic. Yeah, you know, the asterisks on the season, all that stuff will be debated long and hard. There's no question that this the West Coast Eagles are well, they may play finals still, you know, they've got enough talent on the list, but they're in a bit of a transitional stage. They may have just been a touch lucky it wasn't a team playing against them who North Melbourne yeah. Yeah, who are emerging, but if yeah. it was a Brisbane or a It's a great point, Gary. The AFL got lucky with this one. Because if it's a team that ends up finishing on the bubble of the eight and they get in off on the back of a, a, a I don't want to say a soft win, but a win against an under, uh, a depleted West Coast side. Well, then that brings into question the integrity of the entire competition. I mean, this this game was all played above the shoulders. Yeah. Like for the North Melbourne guys, having to to almost force yourself to overestimate the opponent. Mm. And if you're lining up on a guy in the waffle, you don't want to get. You know, yeah. there, there are all these little mind games going well, on. What do you say, lucky? You know, but we're talking about the opponent, you know, when we know Gill's put his flag in the ground at the start of the year, said, look, we are going to continue on the season. So the, all the clubs yeah. and the teams know the rules. Yeah. So why has there been this big blow-up about there should have been changes, the game should have been delayed, well, postponed, all these sorts of things? Just, I guess, if it was a, a team that was a, of a powerful nature, maybe Geelong went out there and whacked them by 140 mm. points and ended up making the eight or Don't we have to four. live with that? Yeah, I guess we do. I mean, we accept it. Because the I, argument about, oh, we should have played this in the bye weekend, yeah, that's all well and good. Yeah. But then what happens if a team is restricted as yeah. COVID protocol issues after the bye. Yeah. And all of a sudden, no, you don't right. have that week gap. So, I don't, think the AFL, I think the AFL had to draw a line in the sand, didn't they? After yeah. two years of yeah. interrupted season. Oh, I think they should have played on, but I still think they got lucky with how it played out for them. Let's have a listen to what Adam Simpson had to say post-game. You know, obviously, when you play AFL for a club, you're eagles for life now, those boys. So, um, their sense of belonging should be as strong as anyone's. Um, I think in the end we had 14 changes from last week, so synergy, belief, system, all that stuff was a challenge, but um, it, it looked pretty connected to us and well, we, we could have won that. When we got the, the top up players, three of them have played AFL before, I know two of them. Um, Black's the one that I'd met probably last week, um, <clears throat> but you know, Sandover Mellis, uh, 200 plus games, so he, he they all took it in their stride, really. Oh, look, we, we want to instill a, a real sense of belonging at our club. If you're you're with us, um, you're one of us. So doing that with guys we just met, is that's a challenge. But at the same time, we've had, we must have had 30 players train with us in the last three months. And every one of those players that have come in, we've tried to make them feel really welcome. So I suppose we'll geared up for that a little bit. When we get the new guys in, it's just like, well, here's the next crop. Couldn't think of a better coach to handle it. 